Hey guys, Rob John Webb here from Wax to Disc Music Tutorials, and what I'm going to show you today is a great free VST plugin which I've been using a lot lately, and it's called the OXE FM Synth, uh, the Oxy VST, and it's just uh, it's an FM synth with all the modulations and all your different operator banks. But what I like about this is the presets in it that they've got, and there's quite a lot. There's a whole list of them here. But what I like about this is it's just straight out of the box VST where obviously you get a lot of people that want that classic instant sound and you just sometimes you just don't know where to reach for it you spend hours looking for that classic house bass sound or that standard sort of uh, pad sound and this carries all of that uh, and it's absolutely free and it doesn't cost anything at all so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip through some of the sounds and I'm going to show you just how good it is uh, if you need something that is as I say straight out of the box so the OXE FM synth and the link for it is available at the bottom of the video. Don't forget to subscribe also to this channel and give me a like if you like this video. Okay, so what we've got in here then is we've got like all the piano sounds here, like the roads and that. And these are really quite good. I mean, this one's very metallic. It's very uh, digitalized as opposed to a, a original roads, but it still does a pretty good job. You know, it's a really nice sort of warm pet feel. So you got that, um, obviously if you did something to that where you stuck an auto filter on it and did the old trick where you turn that up, turn that up and then pull that down and you've got like a, the wah wah sort of, yeah it's really nice effect on that so it's a really good little roads. And then we've got other road sounds in there, you've got the, with the DX road sound which is really nice, very 80s. That's nice, you know, it's got that classic sort of. So that's the standard sort of sounds that you've got there. You've got a, a soft electric piano, which is a little bit more metallic. Um, and then you've got your classic chord keys, which is a lot more drawn out. So you've got some great little sounds in that. Um, and then you've got 80s keys, which is. Which is really nice, it's got a real nice tail end on it. Great for like you know, soul ballads uh, from that period. Uh, and then we've got more and more, but then we've got the bass sounds. We've got the square bass, which is so. So you've got some pretty cool bass sounds in there. And then you've got J bass, which obviously comes from the Juno. I'm assuming. Big bass, smooth bass. Uh, and then you've got electro bass. A bit harsh. Uh, perk bass. Floor bass, this is a good one. Um, and then you've got freak bass. Flately bass. Now, this bass sound is, is, is a classic with. Uh, a lot of early house records. So that sound, the lately sound, is a, is a, is a great. If you imagine just sticking a beat uh, on top of that, and let's just get a quick beat in there. I don't know what we're going to put in. Just put that in. Turn that down. So you got... And so on, you know. So you've got you got that really good like classic house bass sound there with the lately sound. So that's one. Uh, you got that. If you do that lower down, you've got that really hard kind of like early prodigy sort of sound, isn't it? You know, like uh, everybody in the place. And you've got standard bass sounds, uh, and you've got the bells. There's another sound in here that I like, which um, is in here. You've got all the trombones, electric organs, you know, you've got... But then you've got the gypsy organ, which is... Let me just find that one, and this one. This is the, this is the standard. You know, which was used on... Uh, I'm assuming it's called gypsy organ because of the uh, Crystal Waters song. 
this was used on records like Alex Party as well, remember that? But obviously low down on the lower octaves, it's perfect for bass. So you've got that sound in there, um, and then you've got loads of other organ sounds, which are great. So that's really nice. You can use that for some lo-fi house track. So it's really gritty and dirty, which is very nice and effective. Then you've got a Leslie, which is another organ. So some really good uh, sounds here, which you could use for a lot of deep house and lo-fi. Then you've got your clavies, which is standard. Um, which, you know, they sound pretty good pretty much anywhere, really. They're a good sound to replicate. And then the oxy harp, just very synthy stabby. Sort of thing you put a lot of reverb on. And then we've got a few plucked strings. Japanese sort of oriental sounds. That's a little bit too too digital, that one. Uh, and then we've got strings and pads. They're pretty nice and smooth. Nice brass pad. Nice brass pad. Good string pad, classic sound there. Perfect, that is, for build ups. Say good. Square pads. And then other sounds, a lead sound. <laughs> we've got in there so we've got leads we've got techno sounds and uh, that is your, your hoover sound you know if you like that sort of thing that's in there and then we've got other simps warmy pads you know which are traditional sort of sounds and we've got all sorts of other dance saws and which are good but uh, the other sound that i like here which we've got is the 80s bass um it's bass tronic it's the one i like actually that one so if you were to put on like a funky beat like that, let me slow it down, and then come up with this sort of bass tronic sound. It's just to find that uh, I just really like that sort of that, that sort of sound that that thing gives off. So that's good. Then you got 80s bass sounds like that. Heavier, a bit harder, and you got some nice. Uh, so you got the nice 99 snares, which are quite useful now and again. And then you got all sorts of different sounds, loads of drum sounds, and all these sort of effects, uh, like the Celestas and all your bell sort of sounds. So yeah, it's one of those synths that's straight out the packet, straight out the box, and you don't have to do too much to it. But you can, with it being an FM synth, you can absolutely modulate it in any way you like um, it's got a lot of different things but i use it for instant um sounds that i want to get like a quick bass sound so yeah uh that's the oxe fm synth and thanks for watching and hope you've enjoyed that and if there's anything you need to ask just email me or leave a comment in the box don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, the link for this is in the bottom of the video description thanks guys for watching and i'll see you soon bye